Hello everyone, so today I'll be sharing my fancy napo bagel recipe. It's been one of the most requested recipes all year long and you can actually find the full recipe on thefancynapo.com. Here are just some of the basic ingredients that you'll be needing for this recipe. You'll need some bread flour, some non-diastatic malt powder, as well as some salt and instant active dry yeast. These are just the brands that I uh, prefer using, so if you're looking at which types to get, I recommend these ones right here. And uh, for this recipe, uh, you're going to be using instant active dry yeast. Um, if that scares you, do not worry. Uh, because it's instant, this makes it super easy. And I like to use my stand mixer, but by all means, if you do not have a stand mixer, you can knead this by hand for 10 minutes. Uh, so if you do that, go you. You got your workout in for the day. Uh, but as you can see here, the dough hook attachment is on my stand mixer, and I just have it going for 10 minutes, and it's just incorporating all of the ingredients together to form a nice dough ball. And once this is done, it actually does not incorporate all of the dough together as you can see I have three little balls here in my mixing bowl that's okay you're just going to form that all together into a nice smooth bowl and uh, cover it I like using this piece wrap paper here and letting it uh, rise for about an hour an hour has passed and as you can see our dough has risen to twice its size it is shiny it is beautiful it is soft and now we're going to divide it into six equal pieces or as equal as possible and uh, then we're going to shape them into these cute little round balls that look so adorable I just want to poke them which we will we're gonna poke these little cuties in the middle to give them that distinguishable uh, bagel shape and look at them they're so pretty and now they're on to the bagel bath kidding about the bagel bath here I really want to be these bagels right here right now they are just sitting in some warm water not boiling water and it just has some non diastatic malt powder as well as some sugar and that just helps gives it the shiny crunchy coat that you normally see on bagels and you do this for two minutes on each side and you carefully remove these babies with some tongs and you let them dry on a dishcloth just to remove that excess water before we actually start baking them but they look so pretty right here um, but you're not done yet Alrighty, so now we're to the fun part of actually baking these bagels. So as you can see here, I lined my baking sheet with some yellow cornmeal. I have six little spaces for all six of my bagels here. This just adds an extra crunch and texture to the bagel. And I also whipped up some egg white wash as well as some toppings that I'm going to be sprinkling on the bagel. Uh, you don't have to put any toppings on it, but I really enjoy the nice texture and the look of adding this seasoning to it. And it's so good and delicious. And look at them, they're so cute. So after I brush them with some egg white wash I sprinkled on the toppings and I just like to gently push them down so that way they stick and now we're actually ready to put these out in the oven at 420 and I can't wait to see them so 22 minutes have passed and these bagels look so delicious. They are nice, golden, crispy, and I cannot wait to have them for breakfast with my sour cream cream cheese or as a breakfast sandwich. I really hope you guys give this recipe a try. As I said, the full recipe is on thefancynapo.com and I hope you guys enjoy this and if you do make this, please send me some pictures. Now have a good day!